The soil is the life of the crop. It's the life of what we do. Uh, there is lots of uh, life systems that we derive from it. So it's, it's an important part of the natural resource that needs to be taken care of. It needs to be given tender, loving care. My name is Apollo Owar. I work for Kenya Horticultural Exporters as the company agronomist, where my role primarily is to uh, provide technical guidance and to advise farmers in good practice. I basically work with the crop from the beginning to the end and ideally also work through with the customers. So in a nutshell, I am responsible for the total crop production system. The soil speaks to us. The soil has its own language. The soil that can tell you I'm tired, the soil that can tell you I'm fresh, uh, especially when you look at virgin soils and compare it to the soils that have, have completely been depleted. And so we walk farmers through various farms and various fields and for them to be able to also learn the language of the soil. We are in tune with their fertility, in tune with the life in it. A tired soil will give you no crop or very useless crop but a good, uh, well-kept soil has the sort of life that you can see in it. And so we've moved away from talking about soil fertility and talking about management so soils in terms of the scientific approach, but we've introduced uh, uh, the life component in the soils that we deal with as far as the farm our farming systems are concerned. For the farmers that need to be leafmark certified, the decision-making process in soils will, will emanate from their own desire and commitment to protect and to conserve soil. And we advise farmers to basically know their farms, to have a very good background in terms of the farming areas that they, they, they have. Um, so if, for example, a farmer has their plots on uh, sloping fields, therefore it is very important for them to have respective remedies to ensure that soil erosion is controlled. If farmers are farming in areas that are flat, there are also other techniques that they will have to implement. This will all emanate from this assessment that they have made from their own plots. Every soil in the farm is very different. Um, if, uh, for example, you may have clay soils and you may have uh, sandy loam within the same farm. And therefore, it is, uh, the treatment is very different. Clay soils will respond differently to certain water requirements, to certain crops, to all this. So understanding that bit in terms of what type of soils are there in the farm is part and parcel of the assessment that the farmers will have to undertake in order to know what sort of cropping regime that they will put in place for their, for, for their farms. Once an assessment has been carried out and you realize that there are certain problems that are there in the, in the, in the soil, especially if you've done your soil analysis and already you can see that there is problems with the soil fertilities, then what I would advise the farmers then is to get into the, the, the most basic uh, aspect of, uh, crop, of soil management and this is through incorporating compost. That's the most fundamental thing and we realize that as we introduce compost, as we introduce uh, organic matter within the soil, then this uh, will be able to revitalize the uh, soil uh, nutritional requirements. Then it's possible to be able to introduce additional uh, nutrients like the inorganic fertilizers. But I still have a very strong believer in having an organic matter base before any remedy can be taken uh, for, for improving soils. I remember this a farm that we had, a farmer that was supplying us, whose farm was completely depleted of nutrients. And gradually we started a process of building up organic matter content in the soils. And the resources required were basically within the farmer's reach, such as crop debris and crop waste that the farmer used to burn instead of composting. And so gradually the farmer started having this crop residue in their animal feedlots and would be let to mix with the manure from the uh, animals and this would be allowed to decompose for a period of time. And within a year, the farmer started incorporating all this composted material from the uh, cow shed into the farm. And the first crop was amazing because without any additional fertilizers, 
there was a very, very uh, beautiful crop that came out. I believe um, leaf principles, especially uh, with regard to soil fertility and soil management, uh, are applicable to all farmers across Africa. What I've seen here in Kenya, what I've seen with the smallholders that we work with, I believe we'll be able to work for even the farmers who are involved in uh, tree crops or uh, fruit crops. If soil is good, it is good for every crop. If soil is poor, it's poor for every crop. And therefore, I'm a strong believer that the IFM principles will support soil uh, across the Africa in, with regard to any production system that the farmer is using. What I would advise the uh, farmers throughout Africa is to look at the soil as a fundamental part. In fact, they've, the real uh, platform for them to uh, uh, raise crops and to manage their farming system.